everyone, I'm Crystal Snapdragon with a first look at Project Gorgon. Now this is a new fantasy MMO that just came out this year and has been getting amazing reviews because of its immersive gameplay. Now upon first look, the animation doesn't look as amazing as say Black Desert Online or Bliss Online, but I do truly appreciate what they are trying to achieve with this, which is taking us back to MMOs of the olden days where Everything is more based on the gameplay itself and the experience you get with the gameplay and of course the immersiveness that you get with the gameplay, which is truly all any MMO is ever about. So beyond the immersiveness of the gameplay and the reviews that I have seen, I do not know much about this game. So if anything, this is going to be a blind gameplay. And so let's go ahead and let's get started with my personal favorite part of any game and that is character creation. It looks like we have three races, Human, Elf, and Rakshasa. Let's see, humans are notoriously prudish and petty, but they are extremely loyal to their friends and their allies. They value honesty and hard work, and they hate lazy people. That is absolutely true. So true. Everyone agrees that humans make excellent traders and negotiators. <laughs> Elves say, they're rude and greedy, and for how much they hate sex, you'd be surprised how horny they are. But they make great friends, and they love <laughs> accumulating wealth. Oh my gosh. Rakshasa say, they're trustworthy merchants, and they make charismatic leaders. They love feeling in control. It makes them happy. They work incredibly long hours. I'm starting to like this game already. Orcs say, the smart ones have silver tongues and can trick an orc out of his breakfast, but the dumb ones are dumber than an any orc. Their warriors are no match for orcs, but their wizards are feared. Human merchant camps are neutral ground, so try not to burn those down too often. Geography. The first country you'll explore is called the Council Lands, where humans are the most populous race. The laws are very human-centric. Slavery, homosexuality, and mind-affecting magics are outlawed, while taxes and hard work are the norm. This is really beginning to sound familiar! Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that was everything about the human. Elves. Elves are forced- he looks kind of scary. Elves are forest-loving, sex-addicted, ooh, <laughs> and obsessively clean. They're never crude or offensive, but they do tend to add double entendres to everything they say. Wow. <laughs> they live a long time and tend to master a lot of skills, but prefer to live a simple life when possible. Everyone knows that it'll, it's nearly impossible to piss off an elf. Is that really true? They're just so friendly and patient. Really? But if you do get them angry somehow, they never forgive and they never relent. Humans say, they're friendly and honest, but don't be fooled. All elves are disgusting perverts. They're probably charm rapists too. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure I heard this, this MMO was created by a couple. And you know what? I get it. I see it. I totally see it. That is hilarious. Rakshasa say their laws are surprisingly primitive. They're prone to bouts of depression that last for decades, and they're constantly washing their hands. But they're generous and fair in their way. Orcs say they become set in their ways, and then they're easily manipulated. They're dangerous warriors, but then they get annoyed by blood and dirt. That's hilarious. You can't tell from looking whether an elf is a warrior or a wizard or just a farmer, so be careful picking fights. Geography. The nearest elven country is Verta, which recently suffered a horrific disaster. Dwindare was a major metropolis that was completely destroyed by an unknown force. Some survivors have fled to the council lands. Alright, so that was the elves. Let's look at the Rakshasa. These are the feline race. <laughs> Rakshasa originally came from another world where they were fierce and amoral warriors. But since becoming stranded on this world, new generations of Rakshasa have developed a sense of morals and righteousness. They are still learning to combine their warrior instincts and their newfound sense of fairness. Everyone knows that Rakshasa are quick to anger, but most are also quick to forgive. They're also known for their complex sense of justice and their dry sense of humor. 
Although their capital city is quite advanced, many Rakshasa have recently gone savage, as the humans put it, leaving their cities and forming camps in the wilderness. It's unclear why. Humans say, there's two kinds, the city dwellers and the nomads. The city ones keep slaves, which is obscene. <laughs> really, humans? But the nomads are pretty lazy, preferring to hunt for sport rather than work to improve themselves. Elves say, Talking with Rakshasa is exhausting. It's so easy to upset them, but they're pretty open about sex and they're very generous. Of course the elves would totally say that. Apparently they are sex crazed. Orcs say Rakshasa are good allies because what's not to like about a sword fighting tiger? But never trust them. They can turn on you in a second. One second they're helping you achieve justice and the next second you've gone too far and now you must die. Watch your back around them. Geography. Rakshasa control a small area of land that is largely, largely inhospitable to other races. Their holdings abut both abut, excuse me. Their holdings abut both the council lands and the crone hegemony, and they have made an uncomfortable peace with their neighbors. All right, so those are our three races. We've seen the males. Let's look at the females. So that's female human. F oh God, she is terrifying. You know what? We're going to go with Rakshasa. I do like a feline race. I do like the music. So we have a few skin tones here. Very reddish in coloration. Let's see. Can I scroll into the face? No, I can't. It appears that we only have one face. We might only have one hair. One type of hair as well. But we can change the hair color. Okay, so so far, character creation is pretty limited, fairly minimal. That is okay though. It's all about the gameplay. Let's see what the elves have to offer. You get a subtype that changes your skin tone. The base of the skin tone, at least. <gasps> okay, so they have different hairdos. It doesn't look like we can manipulate the face in any way. How about humans? Let's see. Definitely lighter skin tones. Nope, still not. no different faces. They also have different hairdos. And different hair colors. Let's see, what hair does the men have? It looks like you guys can also have beards if you are to make a male character. You can also change the beard color and the hair color. Okay, still only one type of face. And still, there really isn't much in the way of hair or different facial expressions to choose for the Rakshasa. But that is okay, I'm still going to choose the feline race, and we're going to name it Khaleesi. Let's choose... And I'll tell you why, it's not because of the mother of dragons, it's because cats can get a Khaleesi virus which causes upper respiratory infections, okay? Okay, I think that'll work. Oh. What a douchebag! We'll see. Finish her mind wipe and prepare her for transit. Khaleesi will be my pet project from now on. Did I just become somebody's pet? I'm not entirely sure I'm okay with that. 